summer rise up. Good morning, Astronaut High School. I'm Javonta Anderson. Today is Thursday, February 9th, and your Eagle Television starts now. I'm Jimmy Kirsten. And I'm Clayton Warnick, and this is your news. Seniors, senior supportive voting is now open. You can vote on the categories by completing the Google form. It is posted in the Class of 23 Facebook group, on the AHS Facebook page, and there's a QR code outside of Ms. Williams' room, room 132. Voting closes at 12 p.m. on Wednesday, February 15th. Applications are open for the Florida State University Young Scholars Program. YSP is a six-week residential science and mathematics summer program for high school juniors with significant potential for STEM careers. Tuition for every admitted student is covered by FSU. The program will run from June 11th through July 22nd, 2023. 11th grade students from around the state are encouraged to read the attached flyer and or visit our website for more information. HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash ysp.osta.fsu.edu forward slash. Applications are due online by February 15th. Are you interested in being on your book staff next year? It's a class you can choose on your registration form, but you must apply to be accepted for your book staff. Stop by any time to see Ms. Williams in room 132 and pick up an application packet. Applications are due Friday, February 24th. We want to wish a happy birthday to Hayden Spinelli and Mackenzie Burke. Did you miss buying a yearbook? Sales ended Friday, January 27th. But we have now started a waiting list. There's a QR code outside Ms. Williams' room, room 132, to sign up just in case an extra book arrives when, with our school order in May. The link will also be on the Facebook page. Once the book arrives, you will contact those on the waiting list and you will have 24 hours to respond and bring in your money. The book is now $90 and we only accept cash at that time. We will only contact you if we have extra books. See Ms. Williams if you have any questions. It's this or that Thursday, here's a special video. Good morning astronaut, I'm Trinity Kirstead. Today we are going to go around astronaut high school and asking student and teachers if they would rather have a flower or chocolate for Valentine's Day. I hope you enjoy. Mrs. Serrato, would you rather have Flowers or chocolate for Valentine's uh, Day? Definitely chocolate. Definitely. It's easy. All right, here you go. Oh, that was all? That's all the interview? That's it? Oh, if you could choose between flowers or chocolate for Valentine's Day, what would you pick? Flowers. All right, there you go. Thank you. You're welcome. If you, if you could choose between having a chocolate or a flower for Valentine's Day, what would you pick? It's a really good question there. Um, I'd probably go flower. All right then. Thank you. Happy Valentine's Thank Day. Thank you guys. Now Avalon, this is very important. If you could choose between chocolate or flowers for Valentine's Day, what would you pick? Flowers. All right, here you go. Thank you. Grant, if you could choose between flowers or chocolate for Valentine's Day, what would you pick? If I'm giving it to someone, it'd probably be flowers, because if you're giving it to a girl, that's what they like the most. That's cool and all, but what would you like? Um, I'll take some chocolate. All right, here you go. Oh, thanks. <laughs> if you could choose between chocolate or flowers for Valentine's Day, what would you pick? I need chocolate because it's my favorite candy. Oh. Everyone knows that. All right, here you go. You're welcome. If you could choose between flowers and chocolate for Valentine's Day, what would you pick? Flowers. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching WeTV. This is Trinity Kirstead signing off. I hope you have a great Valentine's Day. Thank you for watching our show today. Follow our Instagram at we underscore TV underscore astronaut. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day, War Eagles.